Hello Aries and welcome to your Love, Lust, or Loss reading. This is for Aries. Aries, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and Rumble. And I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. All right, Aries, this is for you. Love, lust, or loss for Aries. Love, lust, or loss for Aries. Love, lust, or loss for Aries. Ooh, this is nice. We got a true love situation, and they are so into you. Lots of fun, lots of excitement around this. So very, very good, Aries. I love that. Fun and excitement, spontaneous, I feel. They can keep up with you, Aries. Let's see where this is going. Love, lust, or loss for Aries. Love, lust, or loss for Aries. A few cards for them, a few cards for you, and then the outcome. If this resonates with you, Aries, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Aries, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Aries out there. Cross watchers, please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So however it resonates with you, this is for Aries. This is for Aries. Love, lust, or loss for Aries. Love, lust, or loss for Aries. Let's see. Very nice very serious about you. They're a little bit afraid of rejection, letting the past go. They're a little bit on the um, slower side. I feel like I just said that to you recently, like two different speeds here, but you, you liven them up and you enjoy their energy. They're very funny. All right, so... You're going to need your strength for this one and your patience. God knows. All right. So strength card here. Leo energy could be dealing with a Leo or somebody with strong Leo in their chart. But this person's a little bit more reserved. They're a little bit more reserved. But um, you do something to them and it's, it's a nice balance. Like they have a way of calming you down and you have a way of firing them up. It's a nice balance. All right, so trust issues here, right? Are they, it's, is it too good to be true? Is it too good to be true? They're figuring this out, you're figuring this out. And I feel like there's gonna be an honest discussion in regards to uh, what's the next step in this situation, I eventually, right? But I feel like the, the reason for their um, slowness is because they've been dirty, done dirty so many times. This is just a good hearted person, very down to earth and very, very funny. And they do have a fear of rejection. They've just been done every which way. And this person's got a heart of gold. They really do. Seven of swords here. They may be afraid you could have anybody you want because guess what, Aries, you can have anybody you want, right? But could be some mixed signals here between you and this person. But, and, and you're going to decide, okay, is, you know, is this the one for me? You know, is, is this, they're deciding, you know, is this another tricky situation, toxic situation, or is this my cup of jewels? Both of you will see. Both of you will see. I feel like there's a lot of dreams going on about each other as well. There's, there's not a lot of illusion here. This person is just who they are. And they like who you are. 
And I feel like things could really work out really, really well between the two of you. A happy partnership. A happy home. Like I said, they keep you calm. You fire them up. It's nice. They need to be fired up. And speaking of my Aries moon, sometimes I can say 100% that somebody needs to calm me down (laughs) sometimes. But Ten of Cups... This is the potential of this situation. And I feel like this person's going to make your heart sing eventually. Ten of cups here. So this person um, has been rejected before, but they're a solid individual and they like the long term. They do. Uh, and they, they're they established. This is an established person, male or female, it's earth energy. They, just like I said, they, they're calm, they're down to earth, but they're a little bit slow. But um, they, they love your energy. They love your energy and they see the potential here with this four of wands. They just don't want you to say no. So they just don't want you to say no because they think you can have anybody you want. They're very attracted to you. All right. So you're over here balancing things out, healing from past situations, letting things go, and wanting somebody that reciprocates your love. And I feel like you're going to get it. We got Sagittarius energy here, fire energy, earth energy. Um, You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or somebody with Sagittarius in their chart. So I feel like, you know, maybe you're in the middle of a healing process or just getting out of one. But, you know, it's <laughs> being patient with this particular individual, this new individual, I feel it's it could be exhausting, but it's very balanced and it's very genuine. And um, before you know it, they're going to be begging for some of that Aries. Let me tell you, they're going to get very addicted to your energy, I feel. So it all starts out with a Hello, how are you? Little bit of a shy situation, but you're curious. You're curious over here, and you got a decision to make. Um, this could really take off in an insane way. But like I said before, courage and courage, strength, and patience is going to be required. But before you know it, they're going to be begging for all that Aries energy because it is quite addicting. It is quite addicting. So this is somebody that could really make your heart sing. You've woken this one up. Their heart's singing. That's for sure. Um, They just want to make sure that, you know, you're the right one. And you are going to make sure that they are the right one. So Aries, that is your Love, Lust, or Loss reading. Love, Lust, or Loss for Aries. It's uh, lusty and it's love. It it's, it's, has beautiful potential, but there's some serious attraction here. So it's kind of both. It's kind of both. So that's very good. All right, Aries, that's what's going on. I hope that resonates with some of you, most of you, all of you. Like I said at the beginning of the video, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Rumble. I'll leave those links down below in the description box. You guys have a beautiful day and a great week, and I will talk to you soon. Take care and God bless.